What are the top three mistakes of handling your aging parents' affairs? I would say the number one mistake is just taking over, not understanding that you need to involve your parents as much as possible, as much as they are capable of participating. Imagine, put yourself in their shoes. You certainly don't want somebody to come over, come into your life and take over your affairs. Well, don't do that to your parents either. Yes, people as they age often decline. They're not as sharp as they used to be, but until they lose the ability to understand what they're doing such that they can't help out at all with how to manage their affairs and the decision-making, your role even if you're designated as the authorized attorney, in fact, or decision maker, your role isn't to come in and do everything like you think it should be done. Your role is to come in and offer assistance to your parents. Ask them, how can I help? And follow their guidance. Don't take over, support them. The second biggest mistake is not seeking out help of an elder law attorney to give you the type of guidance I just shared with you. Because an elder law attorney, what we do is day in and day out, we help families, we help seniors, we help people understand um, the challenges of aging and techniques that are um, helpful as people go through the aging process. Seeing an elder law attorney is going to take so much weight off of your shoulders, going to give you so much guidance. They'll provide you other resources. If you're dealing with parents who are needing care, you might think, oh, I need to provide all that care myself. Uh, an elder law attorney will help you understand sometimes it's better to bring in care or to find facility-based care. An elder law attorney will help you understand that there are professionals who are called aging care managers who can help you make sure that the care that you provide or that you um, hire for your, your aging parents is the right care, is the best care, and that that care is, doesn't cost more than it needs to cost. So definitely seek out the services of an elder law attorney because they can help you in so many ways. I would say that the third biggest mistake people make, and it kind of goes with you know mistake number two, um, in that they didn't get any guidance and help, is even if it's well-intentioned, the um, adult child might say, I'm just gonna put myself on the bank account. I'm gonna try to save the house by putting my name on the um, house, the title to the house, and you know, trying to do all this work themselves, and they might accomplish it, but the problem with that is, is they have created so many problems from an estate planning perspective, from a Medicaid eligibility perspective. Um, it's not, it generally almost all, always is not appropriate for the adult child to put their name on title to any of the assets. Again, seeking the services of, of an elder law attorney is gonna make a huge difference in the outcome and in the success.